monumental victory of Samothrace was discovered in 1863 on the Greek island of Samothrace in the northeastern corner of the Aegean Sea. It was taken to the Louvre, where the parts of the monument were reunited. The victory has towered over the main staircase since 1884. An original work dating from the Hellenistic period, it is a peerless masterpiece of Greek sculpture, both in terms of the dazzling virtuosity of the drapery and the astonishing ingenuity of its construction. The monument consists of a statue of a winged female figure, the messenger goddess Victory, and a base in the shape of the prow of a ship, standing on a low pedestal. Overall, the work measures 5 meter 57 in height. The statue, made of white paros marble, stands 2 meter 75 tall, including the wings. The base, 2 meter and 1 centimeter, and the pedestal, 36 centimeter, are sculpted from grey white veined marble from the quarries of Lartos on the island of Rhodes. The darker color contrasts with the white marble of the statue, although a patina has now formed over the whole surface of the monument. The victory is wearing a long chiton or tunic of fine cloth that falls in folds to her feet. To shorten the skirts, the cloth is gathered by a belt hidden by the folds which hang over the hips. The chiton is held in place by a second belt beneath the breasts. The garment's flowing lines are portrayed with great virtuosity. The fabric over the stomach and the left thigh is shot over with wrinkles that seem to skim over the skin underneath. The light cloth is bunched in narrow folds on the figure sides, while the front of the left leg is carved with surface incisions to create an effect of light fabric drapery. The handling of the chiton is in striking contrast with the thick, deeply carved draped folds of the cloak, or himation, which covers part of the chiton. The sophisticated form of the folds of the cloak becomes clear when the outside and inside are highlighted in blue and red following the folds of the cloth. The himation, worn wrapped in a roll round the waist, has worked loose at the figure's left hip. A large gathering of folds have slipped between the figure's legs as it slides to the ground, leaving the left hip and leg uncovered. The right hip and leg are covered to halfway down the calf. The cloak has swept open, with a fold of cloth streaming out behind the figure. So that we see the inside of the cloth. The unfastened cloak is held against the victory's body by the sheer force of the wind.